Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca, and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We start with Xavi Hernandez as the Barca balls cannot count on Barcelona B talent to replace Gavi this week. We are going to discuss on that as we progress. Secondly, we talk about striker Robert Lewandowski talking about the PGG Trophy battle with Jude Bellingham as he said the season is still long. We are also going to discuss more on that. So as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified. Whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. After an international break that brought terrible news for Barcelona, with Gavi's ACL injury, club football returns this weekend and a crucial spell of games awaits the club. With such a hammer blow amid the sides, other injury worries constantly, they now have another layer of squad debt chipped away. And as sports highlight, Turning to the B team for reinforcements in this weekend's clash against Rayo Vallecano. Rayo Vallecano also comes with its issues. Of course, um, one of the most straightforward replacements of Gavi would have been Marc Casado, who has already had minutes with the first team under Xavi. But surprisingly, none in the league as of yet. With his versatility across the midfield, and undoubted technical ability, he would have been a no-brainer to slot into the lineup as and when needed. However, the Barca Athletic player is serving a one-game suspension with the reserve team and is ineligible to be called up to the senior squad until he serves that suspension. It is a shame as he also displays some of the energy and the tenacity that make Gavi so special and this could have been the perfect game for him to showcase all his abilities. Regardless, it will not be too long before he makes his way into the team and gets a chance to shine and in the meantime Chavez still has options in Unai Hernandez and Ayesh Garrido. The only positive that can come out of Gavi's injury among all the overwhelming negatives is a chance to see a more youth players showcase what they can do. Of course, the Gavi injury has led to uncountable reports about who might replace him. Who might replace him? Who are those or what are the possibilities Barca are, you know, are trying to dig into? Of course, to be honest, Gavi has no replacement. I will go with what um, our new sporting director Deco said the other day. You know, I'm talking about the the the, the, the style of Gavi's play, the, the 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 passion, the aggression, the fighting spirit. I mean, we don't have such midfielders in Barca, but Gavi is so special. He's so special. When Pedro is not there, Frankie De Jong can still do it in that same position, right? But for Gavi, I mean, he has that, that special stuff in him that I think to find a replacement will be difficult. But nonetheless, we have already a, a whole big deep depth of midfield. And of course, it shouldn't come as a surprise that Xavi Hernandez will not be able to count on any Barca B team player to replace Gavi, you know. So let's see how it goes against Rayo Vallecano, which we play on Saturday, that is tomorrow morning. And of course, it'll not be an easy game, by the way. Vallecano, who drew against Real Madrid at home some few weeks back. So, of course, there's still a lot. There's still a lot. There's still a lot to do. The season is still long. And we're, we're still down the third, I mean, third. So. Let's hope that performances will improve because we know prior to this international break, Barca have been poor, have been poor in every aspect. And playing away to Vallecano, I think, is a big test for us to see how far have Javi done to improve his tactic and the game playing. 
Of course, Gavi will be a big miss, there's no doubt about that. The only player who was even there that might replace Gavi if he was available in the B team was Mark Casado. But he's serving a one match suspension because I think he's the only player closer to what Gavi can bring to the table in their characteristics. You know, so nonetheless, we just have to keep fingers crossed and hope that the way we go about our season without Gavi, we shouldn't feel his absence. Because if we feel Gavi's absence, it might be troublesome for us. It just might be troublesome for us. So we just have to skip it low and not put it in our heads. Because we know how important Gavi has been for this team since he started playing for Barca. So we just have to see how it goes. Um, because his season is already over. January is coming. There have been a lot of talk if they will sign another player to replace Gavi. But that looks so unlikely as Vita Roque now remains a priority. Then on to the next story of discussion. Having arrived at Barcelona last year, Robert Lewandowski soon became an integral part of Xavi Hernandez's setup. The 35-year-old veteran ended up playing a key role as Barca walked away with the La Liga title and his goals proving to be vital. Lewandowski ended last season with his um, his first in Spain with 23 goals in 34 La Liga games, which earned him a Pichichi trophy. Earlier today, Lewandowski appeared at the Marca Football Awards Gala where he was formally handed the Pichichi trophy for his stunning season in 2022-23. The 35-year-old spoke at a ceremony and expressed his pleasure about having tasted so much success in his first season at Barca, he said. I want to thank my family, team, coach and staff. It was very important for me to adapt quickly to the team. Everyone had helped me from the start. We won La Liga, Super Cup and now the PTT. I'm very, very happy. Of course, this season, however, Lewandowski has not been at his best at times. Um, that couple with Jude Bellingham's sensational start to life in Spain with Real Madrid has meant that the veteran Barca striker is trailing in PTG trophy race. Indeed, Bellingham is leading the scoring charts with 10 goals in 11 games, two of which came in Clasico last, week, last month. Meanwhile, Lewandowski has seven in 11 games. Discussing the Pichichi race, Lewandowski insisted that there is still plenty of time left in the season, he said. The season is still long, but Jude is here. A very good player, I think. It's not easy now to score a lot of goals in La Liga. Many teams play very defensively and physically as well. So, But we, we, we are Barcelona, and we always want not to only win, but also to score a lot of goals, he said. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.